Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Wednesday, September 13th, 2023, and we are back with our MLB Best Bets of the Day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. Because MLB videos every single day, along the NFL and college football. Um, and we're also coming out big winning years, the NBA, college basketball, and a winning year in the NHL. Uh, we're going after our first 10,000 subscribers, our first seven months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we had a shit day. Uh, we had back, we had sat, we swept on Saturday. Excuse me, we swept on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, but we had a reverse sweep yesterday. We went 0-3. We had the Orioles team total over 5.5. They went 1-15 for 15 runners in scoring position. Utterly unbelievable. We had our chances, but we lost. Uh, the Cubs, just horrible pitching led to that downfall. And Cleveland and San Fran, their offenses are both terrible. I thought the bad pitching might help. Did not. So tough loss. We're still at 14.09 units overall for the year so far. Um, and we have two picks today in the MLB. We more than likely will be adding more throughout the day. Uh, members, you'll have this text here. Better check my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. Um, but I'll start with our first pick that we have today. We'll start with the first game today. It was going to be the Twins money line at plus 110 versus the Rays. I like Kukul more than I like Bradley. This isn't really about Kukul. It's more so about Bradley. Bradley's been horrible this whole year. Um, that gives the Twins a major starting pitching advantage here. The Twins bullpen is better than the Rays bullpen as well. So the fact is that the, Ray, the Twins will have a serious pitching advantage here at home as dogs. On top of that, the offense for the Rays is typically is better than the Twins. However, the Twins since the All Star break have really, really, really gotten better um, when it comes to when it comes to offense. But the problem is that the the Rays don't have the pitching uh, to be able to hold this team down, uh, given the fact that Todd Bradley is pitching. So I really like the Twins here to go out and win at home plus one ten. Next, we have the Padres money line plus 116 versus the Dodgers. First off, I like Snell a lot more like Peapot here. Snell has been absolutely – he started the season off horrible. He's like 0-5 for 0 and 5 to start the year with like a 5 ERA. Since that point, he's got his ERA down like a 2-6. The guy strikes people out like crazy. Bullpens are about equal here. They're about 0.2 difference when it comes to ERA. But the biggest thing here is the Padres offense. Padres offense is up and down. Yesterday – they were down. I expect them to just take this roller coaster right back up today. They have the they have the talent. I mean, they have Juan Soto and Tatis and Bogarts. I mean, you can just list off their lineup, Machado and Kim. I mean, they've got an incredibly great lineup. But the fact is that like they, they've been really inconsistent this whole year. But inconsistency also means that they had a bad game. They can also have a good game today, which I, I expect them to do. I like them on the money line here, plus 116. Now, like I said, we probably will be adding some more picks throughout the day. Um, members of this text, you're best to check my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. But a quick recap what we have. With the Twins money line at plus 110. With the Padres money line at plus 116. You guys go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check those other videos.